my player is one to watch tonight. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he has to offer tonight. Each game is a different situation. Each game presents new challenges, and really, how you answer those challenges says a lot about your future. Uh, finally, finally, I agree with you, Brian, but, but that's the biggest challenge for my player, and quite frankly, anyone in the NBA. Each game is different, as you were just saying. So how can you adjust? If things aren't going perfectly, how do you cope? It's the best and hardest league to play in in the world for a reason. A special chance to play with the 2019 NBA champion Raptors, a team that plays together and led by an innovative coach in Nick Nurse. Well, if you want to be a wing, there's an elephant in the room. You have to replace perhaps the best player in the world right now, Finals MVP Kawhi Leonard. But the good news is there's no way you could be expected to completely replace his production. Yeah, I think they're almost playing with house money a little bit, guys. I mean, if you can play anything close to the level of Kawhi Leonard, you've got a chance to be a hero. Now, you've got Kyle Lowry at point and Marc Gasol at the center spot. So around you, you've got this fun combo. And as a my player, it's a cool situation. Beautiful feed, Draymond, known as a physical guy, but he also plays with great awareness and skill, especially passing. And the foul on Green. That is his first foul of the game. Here's my player. Pass to Johnson. Back to my player. Another miss by my player. And here are the Warriors. Here's Russell. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for him. A shifty player. Russell's adept is switching it up using various speeds to keep defenders off balance. It's his first trip to the line. The first free throw is good. Dumped by the Lakers in a 2017 trade to create cap space, D'Angelo Russell sure made the most of his move to Brooklyn as he was selected to his first All-Star game in 2019. He doesn't get the second one. And here are the Raptors. And you know there's always something to enjoy about checking out a new player on a new team. How does he fit? How does he evolve within the system? So much to evaluate. It's never a dull moment. The NBA is a game in a league where one single player can make such a huge difference in a team's performance. The stars obviously have a huge impact, but also you go all the way down the roster, six men and beyond. And from the player's perspective too, guys, I mean, we've seen it so many times. A guy is struggling on one team, but you pair him up with another big or another wing player in another system, and all of a sudden, magic starts to happen. It's like when Tim was traded to my team back in the day. You put him alongside me, and we just took off. Not his best quarter as far as scoring. We'll see if he can get back on track. The shot by Curry, no good. Pass to my player. The long three. Toronto the rebound. Here's Johnson. Goes up again. Blocked. Capable of being a defensive anchor, the key for Colley Stein is positioning himself to swat shots. That's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. The Raptors trail. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's my player. And again, no good by Toronto. Green outside. Shoots over Siakam. And yes, he got the English that time as it falls. Well, playmaking is one area of the game where Clay Thompson continues to develop. Trying to. Toronto is in a strange spot. They just won the championship and a big gamble, but they lost their best player. 
what are they looking to add? Well, like most NBA teams, Blake, they're looking for young players. Now, remember, the current core of Marc Gasol, Kyle Lowry, and Serge Ibaka are pretty much all on the downslope of their careers. So they need the next generation of Raptors. And obviously, Pascal Siakam is a great start. I do think they want the young guys who can win now. The East is still open. And Toronto is still, I think, a player away from returning to the finals. As we saw last year, anything can happen once you make it. Nick Nurse isn't afraid to play rookies at all. So if you play here, your number will be called. A real defensive lapse there. He's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And it's my player missing. Ice cold offensively. He's been unable to contribute. Pass to Curry. And he misses the go-ahead basket. He had one three in the first, but the, the well has been totally dry for him in the second. My player outside. Hollis Jefferson. Goes back up. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. You don't want to get in the habit of letting the offense get right to the rim. And that's the message they were sending with that foul, saying nothing easy inside with that one. Yeah, but they got to play a little bit better defense before they get inside. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And the Warrior is making a change here. And the second free throw, good. A nice job of, of drawing contact and creating opportunities at the line this quarter. Yeah, that's my kind of basketball, straight ahead and physical. And here's D'Angelo Russell for three. <laughs> Toronto in the lead. My player up top, defended by Green. Here's my player. And again, Toronto no good. A lot of bricks put up off his shots, and one reason is he keeps trying to force it up when he's guarded. Move the ball around. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Hollis Jefferson misses. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And the dunk by Willie Cauley-Stein. I love that recognition from Steph Curry. Has a good understanding for when to shoot and when to give it up. On the wing, my player. Guarded by Russell. Pass to Gasol. My player. Six to shoot. Tries to break his ice. Thompson grabs the miss. Here's Curry. In it goes. That's his third bucket. He's missed five so far. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passes. Every pass is with purpose, and their last 10 points have come off of assists. Great team basketball on display right now. Pass to Cauley Stein. moving it up my player from deep and again Toronto no good he's gonna buy himself a ticket straight to the bench you know if he keeps shooting it like he has so far in this quarter green outside Curry's shot is good what a job he's doing here his second quarter has been even better than his first and that was a great quarter now a timeout called by Toronto. He needs to get them. With the aid of our first half numbers, what do you think about my player's performance thus far? Not his best performance by any stretch. Looking too much for his own shot, especially since he was ice cold most of the half. 
now he still has plenty of time to turn things around. Absolutely, and I see him coming out with a totally different approach in the second half. And you know, sometimes it takes just a little break in the action to calm down, reset your thoughts, and refocus on the task at hand. Siakam, defended by Green, knocked loose. Here's Gasol. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Great ball movement, indeed. That's an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And as much as Gasol does for this team offensively, don't forget, he was the defensive player of the year in 2003. Tremendous all-around talent. Now, let's say you're a wing that is tasked with playing alongside Spicy P, Pascal Siakam. How would you ensure a successful fit, guys? Well, I think defensively, Blake, you could really blend in well with him. He's a quick thinker who has phenomenal length, and that, to me, means if you can defend with his same kind of vigor, you could really slow down opponents. And he's a great transition player, too. So if you're an athletic wing looking to run up and down the floor, he could be the perfect running mate. Toronto trailing here. 14 feet out. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Just to load inside. Gasol using his size and using angles to get where he wants to go. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. First one falls for him. So one for two that time at the stripe. Siakam can't get it to go. The Warriors leading. Pass to Russell. Soft touch off the glass. Russell. Timely passing leading to assist. That's been the recipe. Everybody's been in sync. Just tremendous communication and awareness. The Raptors might have won the NBA title last year, but they're back in that underdog role after losing Kawhi. What can they do to get back to the promised land? Well, it starts, first and foremost, with 2019 most improved player, Pascal Siakam. He really jumped onto the scene last year, and I'd like to see him continue to improve and take more of the offensive load, maybe get that average over 20 points per game. But after losing Danny Green, too, he signed with the Lakers, the Raptors could use shooters to put around Siakam and Marc Gasol. And I think some youth as well. I mean, they have a nice core, but they're, they're vets in Gasol, Ibaka, and Lowry. But who is the next star? Could it be OG Ananobi? You, you just know Nick Nurse wants some younger guys to test out. My player outside. Thompson grabs the miss. He is just killing them with his poor shooting. And D'Angelo Russell slams it in. An excellent penetrator who attacks when he sees a lane. You can't allow Russell to burn you like this. Poked away. Out of bounds. It'll be Warriors ball. Here is Curry. Defense right on him. 
Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Pass to Russell. Just five to shoot. That one falls, coming off Stephen Curry's feed. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. New arena, new all-star, new bench. It's a season of changes in Golden State. A moving from Oakland to San Francisco without Kevin Durant. Also without Klay Thompson while he gets back from that ACL injury suffered in the finals. Steph Curry is going to need to get back into MVP mode. But remember, they added an all-star guard in D'Angelo Russell. Me personally, I can't wait to see D'Lo and Curry play together. Me too, Tim. I mean, what an offensive show those two will put on, especially when Klay Thompson is back. Now, the bench is paper thin, so expect the starters to play a lot. However, come playoff time, are you going to tell me that you want to face a team with Steph Curry, D'Angelo Russell, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green? Didn't think so. Well, this is where Green developed as a scorer. No longer just about threes and lay-ins. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Pass to Johnson. Back to my player. Siakam. Johnson. He's covered by Thompson. My player from deep. Another miss by my player. Well, that's playing into the hands of the defense right there. Yeah, he was all over that one. You're just not going to sneak that shot by him. Smart defense. Down low, Gasol. Great D that time from Draymond Green. Takes the three. And Clay Thompson gets the three. They came out of halftime smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. They should all have the green light. Here's my player. They get it again. Buck! A valuable, tenacious defender. Green is so good at using his reach to reject shots. The three-point shot's been a real weapon for them in the second half. Yeah, they've done a good job of creating good looks from outside, and now they've really got it going. Pass to Siakam. Back to my player. Shot to stop the run. Got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Offensively, he's hurting them more than he's helping them this quarter. With their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage is over 50% now for the game. Did you ever shoot over 50% in a game, Tim? I don't know. But look, it's not a surprise to see them out in front with the way they've shot in this half and really the entire game. Just very efficient offense from them. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. Warriors ahead. The Warriors making a switch here. Burks, covered by my player. Pass to Robinson. Burks. Here's McKinney, covered by my player. Here's Burks. That one falls, coming off Stephen Curry's feed. Chalk up a few more points for them. This has been a one-sided game in just every area absolutely their defense their offense it's all been outstanding it's just been a, a tremendous performance brian and here's my player outside the three-pointer is on target i'm sure that's a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in the first half right wing three, three, three. here's mckinney to the inside pass to looney and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two here. That's his first first it's going to go on Serge Ibaka. At the line. Looney. At the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls, so both teams changing it up here. 
No good on the second free throw. And here are the Raptors. High player outside. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Ill-advised shot selection right there. I'll say that was lower than low percentage. No chance. Andy Baca gets the whistle that time. That will be his second foul of the game. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Here's McKinney. Deflected! Lowry with it. My player outside. Let's it go from the wing. He can't get that one to fall. It's been a, a frustrating day for him, and it's rubbed off on the rest of the team. Use the rim to get some true hang time. He just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than his takeoff. Yeah, watch out below. That was incredible, and this is one reason why I love the game so much. Launches it. No luck on that one. Ever since halftime, he's been ice cold. Very little going his way. Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. Yes, We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Fast all is Jefferson. Back to my player. Powell with it. Four on the clock. And here is my player, guarded by Robinson. And he gets it to go. Uh, since halftime, he is finally coming around. Outside Curry. In for his seventh make in 13 attempts. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize his team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. The shot by McKinney, no good. And so it's Toronto with it. Pass to Ibaka. Lowry. Now my player. Curry covering. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Now my player. From deep. Another miss by my player. The defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. He just can't dial it in from deep this half. Here's Burks. Back to Curry. From outside, off the mark. My player outside. Serge Ibaka, high post. Good on the bucket. This is the kind of physical play we saw from Ibaka earlier in his career. We're seeing it again now. Now here's Robinson, covered by Powell. The three from Steph Curry. Nails the triple. It's just a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the court, guys. On the wing, my player. Pass to Powell. Back to my player. From downtown. Golden State with the rebound. Here's Burks. Here's McKinney. Covered by my player. Here's Burks. And he drops it in from the low post. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They gotta keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Here's my player. Can't nail the jumper. To the left wing. Left side, Curry. To the middle. And the Burks. basket by Burks. And as a team, 
you just relish these sort of road games, playing as well as they have here tonight. Yeah, it's always a good win when you play the kind of game they have tonight, but especially doing it on the road. It's just so much fun. I don't know about when you were playing, Brian, but when I was playing, it was so much fun to just silence the road crowd. Outside Curry. So we see the Warriors taking the W here. A fine game from my play tonight. It wasn't great, it wasn't bad. But with this team losing, you imagine he would have liked to play better. Well, this was the type of game we expect from a role player, right? So the question you ask my player is, do you think you're a role player? Obviously, your team needs you to be more because they need you to play better if you want to win games. So step up right now, right here, if you want to be in All-Star Games for years to come. And that's going to do it, folks. We'll see you next time.